um, a beautiful stadium. I went to visit and I watched the, the game against Oyo. Um, the supporters was amazing and it was an amazing game to watch. So in South Africa, normally uh, we start to play at the age of six uh, in school. Um, I played at all provincial levels, um, under 13, 16, 18. And then in 2005, I was selected for the SA Under-19 team uh, at the World Cup, uh, which we went on win to win to win the competition. Um, after that, I signed my first professional contract with the Lions. Uh, that was in 2006. Um, I spent quite a, a long period at the Lions, um, 2006 to 2013. Um, in end of 2011, I became the captain of the Lions for two seasons. After that, um, 2013, I signed uh, my first deal in France, where I went on to play for Bayonne. And then in 2015, I went back to South Africa and I played for three seasons at the Stormers down in Cape Town. Not so fast, Chris. We'll get there. <laughs> At the Lions, we went through a difficult period, and then in middle 2010, uh, John Mitchell took over. Uh, he started building a team, and then uh, 2011, against all odds, uh, we went on and won the K Cup. That was an amazing achievement in my career. And then, yeah, the rest is history. He tries to run. Dominant in style, dominant in attractive rugby, dominant on the scoreboard, thoroughly deserved it. Yes, um, middle, 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 or oh, end of 2012, uh, uh, the negotiation started with Bayonne. Um, I decided to take the opportunity to come to France. I always wanted to come to France, so it was a, a, a great experience for me. I really enjoy my time down in Bayonne. Um, but I, I, I always wanted to go back um, because I was relatively young back then and, and wanted to see uh, what my chances to be uh, selected for the Springboks. <laughs> yes, um, I played, I played, yeah. Um, yes, we drew. And then in 2015, I also played in the, uh, against Grenoble. And that's not really a, a match I want to remember because I... I tear my uh, ACL in that game, in the last five minutes of the game. Um, yeah, but I played uh, two times against, and I think uh, the last game we won, but, uh, but that was at Bayonne. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, uh, Grenoble was always tough to play. Yeah, obviously the supporters are very special. Um, allez, le, le bleu, le rouge, le, le blanc, ou ça? Uh, allez, le rouge, le vert. Uh, I remember that. Um, as, as I can understand, we're playing now at Stade de Alps, um, a beautiful stadium. I went to visit and I watched the, the game against Oyo. Um, the supporters was amazing and it was an amazing game to watch. Yes, uh, um, after, after my 2015 stint, um, the Lions wanted me to come back to, to South Africa. And then at that stage, um, me and my wife was talking and say, but uh, which place do we really want to go back to? Um, I am from the Western Cape, and Cape Town is a very beautiful and amazing city to live in. Um, and then the opportunity came for me to go to the Stormers. Um, as a, a young boy, before I went to the Lions, I was always a Stormers supporter. So it was special for me, the three, two, three seasons at, at the Stormers, and I really enjoyed it. Yes, uh, me and Devil come back from... Um, I think the first time we played together was 20, he, he came at the end of 27, 28, we played again, uh, 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 with each other at the Lions, um, we became very good friends, and then at my first contract in, in France, um, he also said to, back then, I think it was Christian Lanta, that he said that uh, he must get me to be down at Bayonne, so me and David came a, a long way, I've got a, a lot of time for him, a very passionate guy, hard guy. Um, but yeah, it's a bit different now. Um, he's my coach now, so I have, I have to respect him in that. So we, we need to be very professional on the pitch.